Hey guys, welcome to Learn a Logic. In this video, we are going to learn how to make an advanced dashboard by using all the kinds of inputs available in Splunk. So in Splunk, what I'm going to do is to create a new dashboard with the name Learning Advanced Dashboard and I'm adding a panel in it. So I'm choosing a line chart and uh, what I want is client count as for product ID for particular status. So vendor sales is my index in which uh, the data is stored and uh, I'll be filtering the data according to status because I want uh, uh, my results to be displayed as per the status. So my status would be 200 and then I'm going to stats count client IP client IP is one of the field as clients by product ID. So I add it to the dashboard and uh, okay, let me remove this. So it's waiting for data and here's the graph so uh, guys you can see uh, the numbers over here so let's add an input of text so in text what we can do is basically write any kind of text in it that will be passed to our search so these are the particular inputs which we are going to learn in this video so in Splunk we are getting this option of adding input so that we can make a uh, modified or advanced dashboard so in label we can write any kind of name like select status uh, search on chain that means it will change whenever the word is changed now here's the token token is something uh, which is passed between dollar signs and this is actually the address or the kind of token only which is passed to anywhere where, where we write it in between the uh, dollar signs we will see it later so i'm writing this status underscore talk uh, and I apply it so my token is a status underscore talk and now I will edit my search so let me zoom it okay so what I want is to modify the uh, dashboard so that I can get different results as per my status so what I will do I will remove 200 and I'll use two dollar signs and between which I'm going to pass the token which is status underscore talk it would be the same as passed over there just other things we don't need to change and we apply okay now the search is waiting for input as we have passed token so the search is always requiring for a state uh, value so here i will write uh, 200 and press enter oh sorry uh, i need to auto run the dashboard and i need to refresh it this is how we can refresh it by going to uin source <laughs> the easiest way so now it is waiting for data and guys you can see for status 200 we are getting this data now let us change it to 500 and press enter this is a single point data okay now let's make it a 503 that's for 503 that's an amazing feature of Splunk that it allows us to use several inputs let's start with the drop down so drop down will be creating a drop down menu for your uh, modifying the you know the kind of inputs so label anything select your status search on change and token is status underscore token or oh, oh, sorry talk it's a my way of writing things uh, you can follow any kind of way so here's an important thing what i'm going to do is write a search string where index is equal to vendor sales and source type I'm going to mention a source type so I can filter it out because I want this search to run as fast as it could states count stats count by status what it will do is to create a column of a status which will have all the values of status that we want in a drop down correct guys so I have I can if I can use this column over there so I can get all the values of status in the drop down so I'll set the timer to all time. Now this is where we use uh, the uh, field because it returns the value which is written in here. So status is what we want. So I will be writing status only and which values we want is also written over here. And I want the value of status only. So I'll write status and then apply. Now it will take some time to populate the search. Now it have populated now this is how a drop down is created pretty cool huh so this is what splunk can do in various things as splunk features such an amazing option now the default 
default implies that there should be a default kind of value which should be passed so whenever the dashboard is open it is taking that as an input so i have selected 503 and i apply it and uh, i'll auto run the dashboard and i'll refresh it okay wait uh, i need to edit the search first sorry sorry so i'll remove the 200 so what i'll do the same status underscore talk so guys you can see i am using uh, every time a new dashboard to make you understand this thing now i will refresh it by like this we can refresh it it's a very easy way so it's first we can see that it's taking 503 as its default value because i have set it but i want different values i want 200 so this is how the values change pretty cool so let's see what else is, uh, Splunk offers us in adding input. Uh, now this is a checkbox. Checkbox will allow us to choose multiple data and that will uh, that needs to change the type of a string we input in there. So uh, I'll be selecting the status and change. Again status underscore talk. And the default and initial we know that we will be making afterwards. Now over here we need to make some of the changes in prefix, suffix like this kind of value. But what I'll be using is just a delimiter. We'll see what to do. First let us write our uh, string. I have copy pasted it. I'll set it to all time. You can uh, pause the video and take a screenshot of the search. I have put a status as required field. And uh, this is how you get a checkbox where you can select multiple values over there or also a single value <laughs> so in default uh, so what i'm going to do is use a delimiter which will be basically putting particular string or uh, string only uh, in the values uh, i'll show you and explain you uh, with an example so let's see what happens if i put a space and I'll write status is equal to uh, sorry before status I'll be putting an or capital O R so you can see in below value one space or space status it is showing and I'll auto run the dashboard I'll now uh, put the token over here so whatever is written over there with delimiter will be passed in here so different values with or space status is equal to will also be passed over here. So it's populating the result. Search is waiting for input. So uh, first it is selected for 200 only. So it will be showing the data of 200. The status is when is equal to 200. Now I put I want the status as 200 and 503 both. The data where the status could be 200 or status could be 503. Let us see how the search is getting edited in the background. Let's run this search. So it will take some time. Okay. So we can see over here that status is equal to 200 or status is equal to 503. This is pretty cool. Huh? And what token has passed is 200 or status is equal to 503. Or, or status is equal to is something which is passed by the delimiter itself that's how we can uh, keep on changing the checkbox values and it will show different results so let's see what else Splunk has to provide multi select multi select is basically a mixture of checkbox and drop down so I'll be doing again the same thing I know guys it's a bit boring to do it again and again but we need to show it so that there should be no confusion in that so i'll put index is equal to vendor sales and i'll paste it okay and it's not getting pasted so i'll type it okay cc this could uh, probably change according to your indexes and all i'll set it to all time and free for label status status now again over here we need a delimiter because it is multi-select and I'm going to use the same space or space status is equal to and I'll apply it 
on okay so we can see it's populating now it shows like a text box but it is not it's a drop down and as you can see it's a drop down and we can now select multiple things like uh, 503 and 404 and we can also remove it like this pretty cool feature of splunk <laughs> Splunk is really a very good tool in order to analyze and make such dashboards for your client. Now again the status underscore talk. Now the add input option is allowing us all these kind of features which we are using. I am refreshing it so that the dashboard gets uh, refreshed. Now let us select some values 503. Let's see it's showing or not it's showing. Let's add one more. 200 404 okay let's see wow pretty good so let's now check out uh, another option which is link list link list is sort of a calendar kind of uh, display so let me show you a token is set we are going to write the such a string as list so I cut the video to the part where I have typed all that saved three precious seconds of this video so let's apply it it's populating and now you'll see a calendar kind of display of this link list one of the coolest feature of uh, add input it displays all the values at once and we can select only one value at a time so let's change our token apply it let's refresh now search is waiting for input now I'll set it 200 and it's waiting data and the chart is displayed so guys uh, hope you like the video if you like if you want to check out our other Splunk videos then please uh, go to our website uh, channel do subscribe and support thank you